We're getting a view now from the data that the crew aboard the Soyuz is getting. Maneuver confirmed. The station has moved to the right and down. Copy. Uh, standing by for uh, stabilization mode uh, setup. Indication. Once that docking occurs this morning, there will be a few moments to allow the relative motion between the two vehicles to dampen out against one another. That will initiate the retraction of the docking probe to bring the two docking interfaces firm against one another and initiate the closing of the hooks. And X point 45. Uh, 3, 3, 4.5, SKD deactivation 4.87. Copy. And uh, I uh, confirm the uh, maneuver. Current range is 1,800 meters, and the closing rate is 4 meters per second. I can see. I hear that. Yeah. Yeah. I see the station on the video monitor screen. Copy. And there's our first view of the Soyuz MS-20. Closing in on the International Space Station on the tail end of its four-orbit, six-hour journey. Range is 370 meters, and range rate is 1 meter per second. And the fly around is now underway at a range of about 400 meters. All of these events happening right on the timeline, and everything is still proceeding as expected. Current range is 180 meters and range rate point seven. And we have confirmation that final approach has been initiated. Russian flight controllers are happy with the alignment. And again, that final approach has been initiated.
2.5 squares is the width of the target. We're standing by for the contact. The crosshairs are aligned. The target is in the center. Standing by for contact. Contact is confirmed. And uh, also we have a docking interface. In contact and capture confirmed at 7.40 a.m. Central Time, 8.40 a.m. Eastern Time as the International Space Station and the Soyuz MS-20 flew 260 statute miles over the Atlantic Ocean.